can we just deep that Christmas is like a week away, which is insane. Plus I'm 25 now, like that is also mad. My birthday was December 5th and I had a great weekend, like it was sick. So I'm putting together a shoot that I'm shooting by myself, one man banding, and in preparation for that shoot, I just thought it'd be the perfect time to show you guys how I prepare, especially as a solo filmmaker. Solo filmmaking, getting yourself out there by yourself is one of the most hardest things to do and pull off. And if you're gonna pull this off, it's so important to have everything nailed down in pre-production. So this is a project that I'm doing on spec. Something that I'm working on by myself that I wanted to, no one's paying me to do this. Low key though, I do have my company, so this will go towards my portfolio. So it works out well, like I wanna do this for me. So as someone who doesn't box, I've taken up an interest in boxing before and it is challenging, like, it is a hard sport. And I look at these fighters that go through the daily grind and how lonely this sport actually is because there's so many challenges and so many constraints that you go and take day to day just to try and be great, you know? So I thought this would be a great project for me to work on and tell a story from someone else's perspective, not just mine. So the first thing that I do, especially when it's something that I've never shot before, something like boxing, I want to become a master of boxing. I want to know everything that there is that I need to know that will make my life easier on shoot day. Now I physically spent a whole day of work sitting on the laptop watching boxing videos, commercials, films, projects, learning the culture of boxing. What does it take to be a boxer? What is appealing to people about boxing? Why is it so important? I'm not only learning about boxing itself, but I'm also learning about the way people film boxing, why are they getting certain shots, the camera movement, all of these things I need to consider when I'm gonna go shoot a project on that day. And from there, I'm getting ideas for my shot list and why I actually want to get out of this project. Not everyone's got their own means to pre-production, but for me, I'm going to be using the Milliner. And no, this is not a sponsored video, but one day. So what you're looking at right now, my brain, the ideas, everything that I've conjured together, everything that I've pitched this shoot to be, all put in this one big visual mind map. Like, this is crazy, all of that in the middle now. So right here, this is my final pre-production plan that I'm going to be shooting in a few days. Not much is gonna change from this, maybe a few little tweaks, but that's it. I want to demonstrate and show you how I really got to this. And for someone like me who loves seeing things visually, this is the best place, like I've got like a creative mind map right here. I want to show you how I got to this final stage of pre-production and here I've got a little YouTube demo board for us to play with. So as I'm taking all these boxing videos, all of this content, all these things I'm inspired by, the videos, the photography, I'm inspired by everything that there is. So as I'm watching, if I see a film that I like, I can easily just, let me show you guys. Let's go to this right now. Just um, shift, command four, and then I can just go and take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot and that'll go to my desktop. And on my desktop, you can see that I've got a folder called boxing references. If I just put that in there, strip it more quick. I've got a list of references of these videos that I like, or these shots. Once I've gone through that inspired viewing session, and I've got all of these videos and references that I believe will be useful to the direction of my project, I can then go and put them into a reference slash mood board. So, I'll just go into the note, create a new board, let's call it references slash mood, and then just go back into my desktop, just copy that. And what I'll just do now, I'll just copy all of these into that reference slash mood board. If I just go back onto my own project, so this is for my final pre-production and Milano just automatically just drops themselves inside there in like this aesthetically pleasing way, like it's, I don't have to put any effort into that but it just looks so clean, like look at these images right here. Then if I want to go back to a particular video and just find out, like recall what was inspired me, what was I inspired by, was it the pacing, the tone, the vibe, anything, I can just go and create a new column, let's call it video references, just paste that link inside there and just add it to my column. And now I've just got that video right there, like so easily. I can just click on that and then start playing. Just like that. So now here, I've got all of my video references, just a few that I've got that inspired me and that I just liked through watching these videos. It's really useful to see, like Milano is a great platform to use. Nothing's more satisfying than watching something, being inspired by what you're seeing. It's making me create more ideas in my own head and looking at how I can actually recreate some of these things that I'm seeing, how I can replicate them and just add my own source to it, you know? It's a great thing to have and it's sparking ideas that helps you connect the dots when you're telling the story. So I can just go in here and just create another column. I'm just gonna call it 
I'm just gonna call it Blue Sky Notes. Whilst I'm watching these videos, I can write anything that comes down to mind. Doesn't matter what it is, I can start by down connecting boxer to community. You don't even need to spell it right, that is the great thing of Blue Sky Notes. This is all Blue Sky Notes, up in the air. Doesn't have to be judged, it's general. I can just get another note here and just write down, I don't know, shots of environment. If I go to mine now, I have a few that I've written down already. These are just some of the things that came into my head when I was getting inspired. I woke up one morning and strangely thought of Swagger Like Us by Jay-Z. So I said to myself, let me just write it down really quickly. It's not going to take anything from me, but if I just write it down, I can then refer back to that. So I listened to it on the way to work and I was just like, a new like, just sparked ideas for my creative process and how I can actually move the direction of this film. So let me just take you back now. So I had this idea, I had this concept, but I didn't actually know what I was going to be recording. So I was on Instagram and I saw my friend Chad had a fight coming up. I've known him from school times and I thought, let me just drop him a message and, you know, see if he's interested. Um, let me just see what I said. So I reached out to Chad and I was just talking to him briefly and just asking how he's been getting on. Then I just wanted to say that the past few days I've been thinking of the next project I want to work on and you came to mind as a neighbor fight coming up. Do you have anyone that shoots behind the scenes or anything for you? I thought you may be interested in the video being potentially made. So yeah, after that we started talking, just chopping it up. And then we got to a place that actually makes sense eventually. But honestly, super cool guy. I've known him for years and that just made it even easier connecting with him. So getting to know more about his journey, I was thinking like, how do I want this project to go? So go back onto Minute Note. I wrote down some interview questions to help me guide the direction of this video. General questions that will help me tell the story and just help me create some short ideas as well. So I just thought, what are your aspirations in boxing? What is it like to be a boxer? What challenges do you face? What does it mean to represent One Nation Boxing? All of these kind of questions and that kind of went into a shot list. So I could, you know, got here, train a pep talk quick cuts of exercises, hand wrap close-ups, that kind of thing. Some checklists that I need for pre-week checks, for example, you know, just checking the drone, making sure the drone's good, getting some photos, the SD card, all of these things I just need to make sure of, just to make sure I'm ready before I go out and shoot. A schedule, just so I can make sure that I'm sitting on top of things and I know what days I'm going to be shooting, what time, even for example, music. Something that I haven't actually thought of properly yet, but on Epidemic Sounds, I've got to play this with a few songs that I'm I'm drawn towards right now, so they may be used in the short film. So yeah, Milano is an amazing platform to bring all of your visual ideas into a real life story. Like, it's a great place and a great platform to use. Locations wise, he lives in Derby, so that's an hour and a half from Morton Keynes. I have to plan out the schedule and work out what days I can go out there. With the shoot days, I don't want to limit to anything. I want it to be as free and natural to the best of my ability as well, so I just want it to be like kind of free when I'm shooting. I have my shot list and references to refer back to if I need some inspiration in the moment so I'm not just feeling completely lost when I'm out shooting. Shooting by yourself, planning by yourself, driving out to somewhere where you've never been and creating these complex productions by yourself is so challenging and you need to make sure that pre-production is down to a T, like it's so important. So having something like Millinet is a great platform to use and it helps ease that process and reduce any anxiety that you go and feel. The stress of having to remember everything won't be as high because you will have this thing that you can go and refer back to you. And that is so important because that will allow you to go and be the most creative by going out and shooting these projects. Just having references and something that you can actually use anytime you need it. So I'm going to be shooting this in a few days time. I'm going to be out there by myself so wish me luck. Hopefully I can try and create some BTS for you guys and something just behind the scenes of what's going on to catch an idea. I'll have my backpack been with me on Bill and so that will help me go through these projects like very easily. Well, I say easy. Is it easy? It's not. <laughs> See ya. My man band, looking forward to it. Go check out Milano, sign up for free. It's a great platform to use. And yeah, good luck on your next project. Drop me any questions and I'll answer them. But yeah, I love you guys so much. LR out.